Hey guys, Jordan Meyer, Wholesome Family Farms. Feeding some sheep, lots of lambs, a lot of fun. How's it going, Cade? Good. Good? Like all the sheep? Yeah. Yeah. Got mom out there cutting the nut wrap off. Good to go? All right. All right, here we go. We already rolled out one bale already, as you can see, and they're pretty excited. Look at all the baby lambs we've got. Yeah. Getting to be a lot of them. Yeah. Some ewes are getting ready to pop yet, too. That one's a big girl. And yeah. There were some newbies right there. This bale here ain't much good. It was cheaper made. Got this for 135 a ton, which on a normal year you could buy good hay for that. Last year with the drought, we have to spend a lot more. What you doing? <laughs> I couldn't even tell you how many more lambs or how many more sheep we or ewes we got a lamb out yet, but yeah. there's quite a few little babies running around out there. That is for sure. But weather looks good up until Thursday here and it's March 19th today. And then it's supposed to be two to four inches of snow and bunch of sleet and drizzle and rain and everything else after that so not really looking forward to that sheep over the baby lambs all congregate together and they all go for a run running like the wind they're, they're playing tag <laughs> I don't know if they're playing tag they're just Excited to be running. Look at him. Yeah. Excited to run. There's a group up there, they're really going at it. And a bunch more baby lambs up over the ridge there, too. Yeah, so we got dead sheep. It's not even rolling, we're opening up. We'll just leave it there like that. Little lamb, come on. Stay down there. There's nothing up here for you. Good to meet you. There we go. Yep. We have a lot of, I was going to say, we have a lot of bottle lambs too. Any day with, well, the past few days here, it's been really windy and nasty northwest wind. And Gets a guy pretty cold in a hurry, and if you're a newborn lamb and you don't get your plastrum right away, it's kind of tough. But uh, we try to feed them along the edge of the woods there a lot and everything too. But today it's not windy, so that's why I'm feeding out more in the open. But we probably have close to 60 bottle lambs at home, and that's a lot of work. But once you get them going and started, you know, like about a week old, then they really go to town quick. But we got a bunch of those individual bottles and then I made some bottle holders for them and you can feed like five of them at a crack and we got about five in each pen. So. Look at those things running. <laughs> yeah, one thing I can say about all this, you know, the weather's been pretty good and lambing's been going pretty good. And I can honestly say this is the best lambing season we've ever had. Mainly because it's our first one. Ha ha ha. Here we come with another bale. This bale here is so squatty I can't even get the thing to roll over. Yeah, this bale here is so squatty. 
failure. Gave us definitely a, was a challenge. Whoever bailed this one did it a little bit on the wet side. You can see it's a little caramelized in there. Funny thing is though, every time I've fed cattle them kind of bales, they've ate them pretty good. We'll see what the sheep do with it. I'm just glad we finally got it to go. It's barely going though. Then get some body. It's actually rolling out pretty good though. Still rolling out. I'm gonna pick this up. Bring it over to these ewes over here. Bunch of ewes over here had lambs and they want to leave, so I'll just dump it off for these guys. She must have triplets. Got three of them laying there. Here's a ewe right there. Looks like she's already got one, and now she's working on another one. All the lambs just hang off by themselves while the moms are all eating. Some of the lambs are even eating too. Take care and God bless. Hit that subscribe button.